This is gonna be a weird build, but um, I think it'll be kind of dope. Um, what do I want to do here? Let's see here. I'm going to get myself a shiny shell. Give me, excuse me, give me a flame. Um, sword and a bananas. Let's get both of those. Some space goes a long, super long way. Actually. Some space goes a super long way. Um, we're gonna put that there. You can go there. Both the flames can go there. Gonna get this next round. Honestly, I could just buy a garlic. That, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. Buying that garlic probably will solidify me a W uh, on the first round, especially going against this guy. I mean, he doesn't. Well, I mean, he does have a pan for a weapon, but it's not on both. You know, it's not on both the foods. We have healing. We have block. Um, the only thing we're probably slacking on the stamina, but we definitely don't out DPS to kill him. But I think we out heal, and then fatigue is probably just gonna take him down. Yeesh. One health at the end there, super scary, but it worked out well. Got our first chili, which is dope. We're gonna need another weapon, but I definitely want to. Uh, I definitely want to get a combination here. So let's get you. Definitely want to get the lump of cold too. The thing is, do I want to get a combination this round? That's the thing. I don't think I do. We got seven gold left over. So I don't think I want to get a combination this long. Well, you know what? Yeah, let's get a combination this round. That just means we're definitely going to have to find ourselves a weapon next round. So no matter what it is, we're going to have to buy it. Um, and we need chili right now. For eating. Nah, let's just get these two. Reserve the, reserve the chili. Um, and we could probably just move these up here like that. Get that combination. And I'll get the stone just because I can just sell it for money next round that looks solid wooden buckler might be a problem here as far as stamina usage goes especially since you know that's a thing um but maybe we'll mm, i don't know this is super close actually i think we lose oh maybe not okay at the very end there i don't know what happened it was super close it was super duper close i don't know what happened at the very end there but we ended up taking it home um okay we got double shell totems we could sell you now five six seven we're gonna have nine left over i definitely want to get this chili we don't have enough space for i mean i could nah the pan takes up too much stamina i could get this maybe i'd rather have something that's not this though really not sure what to go for here this takes up too much space that's the only reason why i kind of don't want it unless we just say no to the garlic just for the for the sake of reserving space you know what i mean then we could put this right there I already bought it, I might as well commit now, right? Um, um, let's get this chili. Ah, uh, I'm gonna save you for now. Get the banana next round. Hopefully I can, I'm looking for daggers. That's really what I'm looking for is just a dagger or so. He's got a shovel and a hammer. Very interesting with the leaf badge as well. Very, very interesting. I think we're going to win. Just because we got the empowerment, we got the speed. Um, one banana is all we need. That all rhymed for some reason. But yeah, damn, another one on sale. Freak, man. Um, Not really sure what I want to do here. Honestly, I, I do want to get the box of riches just because I want Amplify Healing. It's the only reason. It's the only reason why I would want this right now. Do I need another banana? I don't think I need another banana. I think I'm fine with two bananas. Reserve you. Okay, got the sword. Um, I don't want. I already bought this. I don't want to sell the sword, just to get that. Like, well, then again, uh, I don't know, man. I'm contemplating in my head what I should do right now. And I actually don't know. <laughs> um. I do think I want to switch this around though. Maybe a little something like that. Work a little bit better. And then we'll do this. I'm selling you. Just to get the sword. Do I want to get this box of riches? Do I realistically want to get a box of riches? Mm. Uh, I actually don't know. No, 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 I don't, I don't. Not right now. I don't think it's priority. I really don't think it's priority. Right now we need to find daggers. You know what I mean? some lamps will be great but i don't think i don't think that's a priority look at my stamina right now him having that shield bro. i'm glad i got two bananas which is helping for the most part but like i mean we might win this to be fair i just realized they don't have a weapon except the forging hammer yeah we definitely win that good game 
Okay, I'll take the I'll take the fanny. I'll take the fanny. Um, mmm. Shield of Valor on the sale is nice. We don't have space though. We've got like no no space at all. I really need space right now. I do want it. I also want to get that ruby egg though. Man, decisions, decisions. Do we just get ruby egg? The only reason I still have this sword is so I can get me another sh uh, shell totem. That's the only reason. Only reason. But seeing this ruby egg here, we got five lives. Like, I could get this, maybe get myself a, um, a dragon emblem, and then combine it for the obsidian dragon. Like, that wouldn't be bad. You know what I mean? That would not be bad. So, I mean, I could sell everything here and buy this. It'd be risky won't be i'm definitely not gonna give me another shield so i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it selling everything here getting this guy just because we're at max health right now like i don't think it'd be bad this next battle we probably going to lose i mean his bow and arrow isn't pointing towards anything he's got minimal activations right so we got 11 he with eight empowerment on one weapon Hitting for 13, 15 each. Uh, okay, 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 okay. We win, we win. Okay, we're looking up in the world. Things are looking up. Let me get you. Ooh, I see that crap the crystal on sale. I can get me a cap of discomfort. That'll help a lot. Um, I say we sell this, put that there, move this over, put these here. And we just roll with this. We just roll with this. And we hope for the best right now. Ooh. We actually might lose this one, though. He's also got a stand potion as well. It's a nice little setup with the spike shield. That's a pretty solid setup he's got. Really solid setup, solid setup he's got. I say we lose this. Honestly, yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely gonna lose this one, unfortunately. He's just got too much DPS right now. And then Fatigue is with depth. Yeah, yeah. That's fine, though. That's fine. That's fine. Because now we get our dragon. Beautiful. We get this on sale. I see that Phoenix. I see the Phoenix on sale right now. The Phoenix can be a good placeholder for DPS for us, honestly. Like, it could carry DPS for us. Like, I could literally sell the broom and just rely on a Phoenix and the Ruby what for DPS. And then have my shield totems have a little bit more stamina for them to do what they need to do. You know what I mean? I think that's a good play, actually. I think that's what I'll do. Because I do want to roll. Ooh, especially since we just got oil lamp. Can I get this now? I don't think so. Not unless I sacrifice a little bit too much. A little bit too much that I don't want to sacrifice. I can sell the burn out of be three, but I need four, which means it will be all of my flame. It will be all of my flame. I'm not sure I want to do that. But I, at the same time, I do want to get this oil lamp because that's going to help the Phoenix do a little bit more damage, especially with the Corrupted Crystal in there too. It's risky, bro, but I, I, I say we do it. I say we do it. We're doing it. That's going to be all my heat of one. Buying this... Um, and then we just move these. Well, um, put that there. A situation like this. Maybe this will be better. Or not. Unless there's a way for me to, uh, possibly. Um, maybe not. Maybe so. Maybe not. I'm trying to fit the ruby well with the fanny pack <laughs> at the same time it's got to be possible right if i do this boom that goes there that goes there and then this thigh just goes like that that kind of works i guess we'll put you oh this doesn't have a freaking uh, armor slot okay that sucks did not think that did not have an armor slot <laughs> that's fine though um and then we could put our food over here. Like that. And then this can go like that. Okay, that works. That, that works. This is a really interesting start to this, but it works. We should beat this person. I mean, they're they're relying on uh, empowerment with their bows and arrows, but at the same time, we build up a lot of empowerment too, and we're just hitting like crazy right now because we have the Phoenix. Phoenix should carry us. For a good little little decent little minute you know what i mean dragon nest oh there we go there's an upgrade beautiful upgrade on sale love to see it um 
Should I keep this for the dealing of extra damage or should I get me a corrupted helmet? I think I just keep that for the extra damage. Let's see here. Um, I can move this down by one. That way they're both inside of fanny packs, which is good. In I was going to be able to rotate that. Um, that needs to go there. Get a combination off of that. I guess we'll do this. Okay, that kind of works. In a way-ish. Okay, there we go. That kind of works. I'm going to buy this coal to you. I guess I'll use it there. Okay, nice. Okay, yeah, that works. We got our empowerment. That's on there. We're getting an upgrade. We got dragon us for the healing. You know, it's it's you know <laughs> it's a little bootleg, but like it's working though. It's working. It's working. Especially now that we can uh, cleanse the, the the pierce off of this guy, which is great. Hitting for 32, 30. That's game. That's game. Another fanny. I gotta take it. I should probably get this. I could just sell it back if it's bad, right? Item trigger is 100% faster. Refund 20% of the used buffs. Am I using buffs, though? I'm not using buffs on anything. Except, no. Well, I guess this, using all your heat to reincarnate with 6 health per, uh, per heat. I I guess that wouldn't, like, be horrible, right? You know what I mean? Like, that wouldn't be, that wouldn't be bad. And then we could put this here. Which one's a higher DPS? This one is 7 a second, while this guy is 6.1 a second. But we don't gain 26 heat at the start of the battle, right? So it's probably better to just keep both of these on here, if anything. It might even be better to put a fanny pack on this guy instead. Just triple fanny down on that, and then this can be double fanny. And then boom. Yeah, I think that might be a little bit better. Um, let's roll. I do want dragons. But I kind of want specific dragons, not really looking for this guy. And I need space because I can't use this without spacing away. So I'm going to roll again, getting me both of those. Um, I could get this now, but will it be worth getting now? Probably. Yeah, or should I get chili? I could put one of the bananas down and get chili. Because neither one of these use stamina. I have no weapons that use stamina. These are only two things that use stamina. So one banana might be fine for that, I suppose. So instead, I'm going to get this chili and do a situation like this by that next round. And I think that'll be pretty solid. I mean, that'll be pretty solid. Wow, okay. I wonder what he's doing. With all those shells, I've got no freaking idea. So far, so decent. Remember, we're going to come back to life as well, which is going to be good for us. Unless we just kill them. But yeah, we just killed them. Nice. We need to get ourselves another dragon emblem as well, just so we can crit. Oh, buddy. What are you round? Okay, this is good just for the increase in healing because, you know, we get the healing from the dragon's nest. The healing of four. So if we can just stack holy items on here, which would just be shells and these two, that's a 10% increase in healing. Especially when we get more. Will that 10% really matter, though? I mean, we're only healing for four. I actually don't know. I guess the more dragons we have, the better, right? But for now, I don't know. I don't know if this is actually worth it on this character. Or on this build. I actually don't know. Um, Because we only got two holy items. If we had, like, more, it'd be great. Right? And it's 12 gold. Maybe it's not worth it. I actually don't think I'm going to get it. I don't think it's worth it. But I am going to get that. And we need to keep our heat on us. Which means we're going to have no bananas. Which might be crazy, but... Yeah... I gotta pick that up. Honestly, I might pick that up too. Might pick this up too. I actually wonder, since on attack we lose 11 health from this guy, wonder if it's better to make the Obsidian Dragon faster and stronger versus the Phoenix? The Obsidian Dragon is faster. I mean, I don't know. I actually don't know which one is better between these two. Huh. Yeah, I've got no idea which one is better. As far as, like, making your main DPS focus, you know what I mean? Oh, he's got pineapple with a freaking flamethorn, and he's got oil lamp. 
We are probably gonna lose this because they're gonna outscale fast. They're gonna outscale super fast. Come back to life, but yeah, their healing and just scalability is way better. Way, way better. Good game though, that's fine. That's fine, let me get you. Honestly, I might just, I don't know. Um, let's see here. What can I do here? What can I do here? Hmm. I think I'm gonna try to make the obsidian dragon the main form of DPS. I think that's. I think that'll be the move right now. Yeah, I think that's gonna be the move right now. So let's let's trade this out for that. Put another fanny on you like so um buying that to put there and then probably gonna buy this to put here yeah and then we'll just boom boom for the heat generation i do want to get that emerald one though but bro look at our space we have no space None. Not a single lick of space. Unless we just sold the Phoenix, but I'm not trying to do that. I mean, I did buy it on sale. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I don't think I'm trying to do that, honestly. Hmm. I think I'm going to pass. I need space, and I'm not going to save it right there for the entirety of its entirety. You know what I mean? I need space. I need way too much space. Oh, that vampirism, bro. The infinite vampirism is going crazy right now. Damn. They just healed back for so much. Even with all the damage we do, they're just going to heal it right back. Oh, we actually won. That was a lot more even than the last battle, but 42 to 50 damage right there. Just from these two. Pretty nasty. Okay. Give me that. Give me that. I'll take another chili. I do not mind another chili. Yeah, I don't mind another chili. I'm going to just take that. Triple chili should be fine, to be honest, for this build. So I'll take that. A little bit more survivability as well. He doesn't have a pineapple, which is good for us. Um, so he's not going to be scaling heat. Not nearly as fast as if he were to have a pineapple. So yeah, we take that one. Good game. Good game. Good game. Oh, yes, I need that. Should I get two Obsidian Dragons, or should I utilize the critical from this? I don't know. Probably two Obsidian Dragons, just because it's stronger. Right? And it's only three crits. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Let's get another Obsidian Dragon. So we'll do this. I do want to get another Dragon, but I need space. Well, there's my space. <laughs> okay. Got my space. Um, Probably going to get this Oil Lamp. And honestly, I kind of do want to get another Corrupted Crystal. Um, let's see here. I guess we can move this over. And just put a banana right there. Buy both of those next round. Even with only two dragons. Oh. And a hammer build. We lost. <laughs> Best build in the game. Nothing we can do against, against a freaking hammer build, bro. Absolutely nothing. Yep. Nothing we do against that one. Ding. Give me that. Damn, I forgot I need space for this guy, though. Um, I feel like we're just going to have to put it here. And then just do that. Give me space. A little bit better space. Wow. Okay, three gold. I'll take this for three gold. Okay, yeah, I'll take that for three gold. Getting that next round is going to be pretty nice. Um, we can move this back by one and do that. I guess we could. No, that's not gonna work. Damn. Um, unless we move these two to like here, that'll work. And then we can do that. even do this and that way we could put both these shells on here like that so it uses a little bit less stamina which means they can activate a little bit uh, a little bit more which would be great um i'm surprised this is kind of working with only two dragons 
I was planning on having more dragons. <laughs> but I, I did pass up a lot of dragons. Granted, I didn't ask this, though, you know? Whoa. Hold up. This is going to be a crazy build. A crazy freaking battle. He's got double Nikos, right? Which is making this 40% faster. And he's also got these two. Increasing the damage. Not only does it have infinite DPS scaling on its own, he's also increasing damage from oil lamp. And also increasing the damage with the uh, triple shell totems. And on top of that, he's got these guys for even more empowerment. Which is nasty. Absolutely nasty build this guy's got. I think we lose this. I think the 60 critical Raker. Yeah, I think the Raker is going to be too strong. Yeah. Way too strong. Good game, though. Good game. We could get one of our own. Which will make these two dragons 20% faster, you know? If I can figure out where to actually put it. Whoa. Yeah, let's put it there. Why not? <laughs> let's put it there. Um, Gotta figure out where to put this. I guess I could just put it on that dragon. Like, it's not hurting me putting it on that dragon. Alright, so now we're 20% faster. With a uh, critical chance resist. 20%. And then we got, what, 35% critical chance resist with the 15 uh, from being stunned, which is good. So he's removing all our buffs. <laughs> God damn it. But at least we have infinite DPS scaling from the oil lamps, you know what I mean? So that's good. At least we can still, you know, do something. But his, his healing is just insane, apparently. Man! I've just been taking L's and L's and L's right now. It's okay, though. It's okay. I got faith in this build still. I got faith in his build. Our healing is what's kind of shitty, but... And then, you know, him stealing our buffs. Or removing them, rather. Um... I do want to buy this, but I don't have space. Well, I guess technically this would work. Okay, let's get this. I mean, that can go there, and this can just go there. For purposes unknown right now. Do I want to do that? Not really. Not really. I do want to do this though, I think. I think I want to do this. Um, boom, 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 boom. This is a crazy build. Crazy, crazy build. Crazy build. Alright, we're gonna win this next one. What are we going against? Oh. Dark Saber Pyromancer build. And he's full decked out, too. Yep, full decked out. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure what to expect here. But he's gonna put a lot of debuffs on us. The biggest thing being the blind for our accuracy. And then him just destroying us come on we gotta take this last one home we gotta take this last one home nope don't buy that <laughs> uh i kind of do need space though there's really nowhere i could well i guess i could move these two up by one that kind of just works and then this can just go here and that way i at least have the clinical orb Situation. So that's two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen, and then the chilies in order to reach that threshold for the three criticals. All right, we're gonna win. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. Whoa! I take what I said back. <laughs> I take what I said back. Forty-six criticals, and he's still at maximum health, and then we're just dying. Oh, god dang it. We got our 10 wins, though. Hey, we should have left at 10 wins, but interesting build. I think it could be better if I had more dragons for the healing, because our survivability obviously, like, plummeted. I guess a better play would have been to just sell the phoenix um, and then get, like, two more dragons or something like that. I think that would have probably been the better play, because our DPS was, like, you know, our DPS was solid. It's just our survivability kind of sucked. You know what I mean? Um, but other than that, that was a fun build to try. 
you know what I mean? Utilizing uh, the dragons with um, oil limps and then uh, shell totems, you know what I mean? That was a pretty solid build. Pretty interesting. I don't think it's the best in the game, you know, but it was it was solid. It was solid. It was solid. Let me know what you guys think I could have done better to make this build a little bit better. I personally think it's just more dragons. More dragons equals more healing. More healing is more survivability, right? So I think that's what I could have done. Um, but other than that, that was pretty fun. But yeah, appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.